welcome back to Simple Living. I tell you what, I've got a recipe that's so nostalgic for me that I want to share with you. Um, my mama used to make a zucchini bread that's out of this world, so you do not want to miss this episode. It's going to be fantastic. Plus, I have some tips and tricks for you to keep your icebox organized during the holiday season that I think you're going to enjoy. So if this is something you think you might like to uh, experience with me making this zucchini bread stick around and even if not stick around because i think i could change your mind about zucchini bread it's the best ever <laughs> okay y'all we're gonna make the best zucchini bread ever so first of all what we're gonna do to make this bread is we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar white sugar to a bowl just like that then we're gonna add some brown sugar boom just like that and we're gonna add egg and a half of cup of canola oil. Now I'm vegan, so I use just egg. And you only use use three tablespoons of just egg to equal one egg. There's a half a cup of oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, whichever. And then we're going to do our our egg, which just egg. So three tablespoons equals one egg, and this recipe calls for two. So we're gonna use six tablespoons. Two, three, four, five, six. And that's that. I cannot wait for y'all to try it. So we're gonna mix all of this together, all the uh, wet ingredients. We're gonna mix that. Just like this. Give it a good whisking. And then to a separate bowl, we're gonna add our dry ingredients. Oh, also we need to add our vanilla, sorry. Your vanilla, you are gonna add, oh my goodness, one and a half teaspoons. Oh, my lid was on. I make my own vanilla. And I put it in this big old jar. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that jar. And then I put one and a half teaspoons of good vanilla. You don't have to make it. You can buy your own. Just don't buy the imitation. One and a half. I'm just going to put two because I love vanilla. Okay. We're going to mix up our dry ingredients. There you go. Just like that. Now. We're gonna add one and a half cups of flour to one to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I just usually use my hand. I don't know if you can see, I just measure my hand usually. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. If there's any lumps or bumps, just go ahead and squeeze them between your fingers. And then we're going to do cinnamon. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons. So again, in my hand, I think that's about a teaspoon and a half. There you go. And then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of bacon powder. And that I try to measure pretty close to right on so a half a teaspoon of bacon powder okay and then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of bacon soda okay a teaspoon and we're gonna give this just a little stir get everything you can use a little whisk I'm just using this little measuring spoon We're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Then we're going to grate up oh, one and a half cups or maybe one cup, yeah, one cup of zucchini. Add that to it and a half a cup of walnuts. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven. I think it's 325, pretty sure. Yep, 325 and you want to use an eight by four inch pan. Or you can double this recipe and make two. So, 
two loaves, but I'm just making one today. All right, get that all good. Then you're just gonna mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And then you're gonna also add in, you know what, I think we should add in our zucchini before our dry ingredients. So give me a minute, you just wanna get some zucchini and grate it. So one cup. I'm gonna put that in here. Dump it in. There we go. Give this a stir. Now, let's add in the, the dry. Just a, about a half of it at a time. There you go. My gosh, I've got these uh, white spruce wax melts going on in my kitchen right now. And oh my gosh, my house smells like a big old Christmas tree. Could not love that more. Now, after you incorporate your flour into your wet ingredients, you wanna add a half a cup of walnuts, chopped walnuts. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Leave. we're gonna cook it for 40 to 60 minutes until the center comes out clean. So, yeah, on 325. Gonna stir this all up. And for my vegan friends out there, that Just Eggs is good news to you and me because we now have an alternative for anything that calls for eggs instead of a flax eggs or just eggs. I mean, not just eggs, but the, um, it's like an egg replacer by Bob Mills. Now we actually can just, yeah, squeeze some of that. Three tablespoons equals one egg. All right, so now we've got this mixture and we're gonna add a half a cup of walnuts and call it good. walnuts. Now, if they're cold like this, I kind of like to just squeeze them in my hand and break them up a little bit so they're not such big chunks. There we go. Give it another stir. Then we're going to put it in our pan. And within an hour, we are going to have zucchini bread. Oh my gosh, y'all. Make sure you get it really good and incorporated though, because as I'm stirring, I'm still seeing flecks of a uh, flour mixture. So get it really good and stirred. One bowl again, y'all. I'm just doing good at giving you one bowl, one spoon recipes. All right, I'm gonna get my pan ready. All right, got my pan. Spray it. And add your zucchini mixture in. Smooth it out. Stick it in your preheated oven at 325 until the center comes out clean. Anywhere between 40 and 60 minutes. Oh my gosh, y'all. My husband's never had zucchini bread. My mom used to make it all the time, especially around the holidays, or mainly. Every bit of that goodness out. There you go, and into the oven. All 
Hey y'all, while we are waiting on the zucchini bread to finish baking, I wanted to show you these little bins. I'll leave it in my description box if you want to get you some. But this is like my baking bin. I keep my just eggs and uh, bacon soda and bacon powder, yeast, whatever in that one. I keep my condiments for, you know, I don't know, sandwiches or vegan hot dogs or hamburgers. Um, and then this is my salsa one where like if we have taco night I can just pull this whole thing out well, if we're making a sandwich we can pull this whole thing out or whatever we would need ketchup mayonnaise mustard whatever for relish or spicy mustard and then this last little bin over here this is kind of my salad bin it's just got some red onions some avocados lemon uh, some little packets of avocados an apple and a bell pepper um, anyway, you just it's just so cool. You just slide them out as you need them. And they both, on both sides got these little handles. So you slide it out, grab both handles, and set it up on your cabinet. And that's your condiments for that meal. So you can, you can be very creative, put whatever you want in these. But that's just, just what I have in them right now. Anyway, want to share that with you real quick as a tip for those of you who are, you know, like to keep order in your icebox <laughs> like I do. Alrighty, there's your tip of the day. Every day I do my Advent tea calendar. Today's the seventh, so let me see if I can sneak that out of there. Ooh, ghostly green. Not really focusing, but it's ghostly green, and it's green tea with cinnamon and ginger, peppermint, and rose petals. Oh my gosh, y'all. Gonna have my tea while I wait on my zucchini bread. my tea waiting for this bread to come out and Superman to get home because I think I'm gonna ask him to make y'all a latte Ooh, that's the timer for the bread mine's gonna take about 55 to 60 to 60 minutes an hour so um, just so you love it's just so you know so I might start out at 50 minutes for yours that way you're not checking it every three minutes <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna get it out if you do not do a tea advent calendar uh, next year, do yourself a favor. Get one at the World Market, or I think it's uh, T Pigs also carries one on Amazon. About fifty dollars for that one, but it's fantastic. And then there's also the Organic Shop Tea Shop at World Market that has it. But get there early, because I didn't, and I had to order mine online and pay twice as much. But anyway, it's such a treat to stop in the day if you can and just have a cup of tea, whether at work or at home. All right, let's get the spread out. This is Michelle with Simple Living, and this is my fine husband, <laughs> Marty, my superman. He's going to make you a vanilla latte today and then do a little latte art on top and try to walk you through it so maybe you can do it yourself. So let's get going. Okay, are you all ready? Um, doing lattes ain't, ain't as easy as some people may think it is, but uh, I've got a little bit of experience in it now. I really like espresso, the flavor of it. So. Um, a lot goes into it, you know, you got to get a good grinder. Uh, grind your espresso beans to certain uh, grind fineness to uh, pull a perfect shot. Um, so I already have mine set, as you see on, a, on 15, it's for a double shot. I got it the grind of, an, of, of eight. That all matters when you do it, when you dial it in. So you just hit the grind. There you go. It's kind of what it looks like. I have this already dialed in though, so I've already weighed it on a scale and everything, so I know the, according to my settings, it's gonna weigh out to about 22 grams of uh, espresso. And then you come over here and you shake it. 
shake it around a little bit. And this here is a tamp. I don't use that anymore. Went to a distribution tool, makes it a lot nicer. You just put it down on your pad, put it on there, press down, give it a spin, left and right, nice and dear, nice and smooth, blow off any excess. And then we lock it up underneath the uh, brew head. And uh, now we're ready to pull the shot. Then all we got to do is get some milk. Got to get our milk ready so we do our frothing. I use oat milk because I don't do dairy anymore. Dairy's for kids. And uh, oat milk is the best dairy product that froths the best, closest to milk. You want to keep your cups, your frothing cups in the freezer so they stay nice and cold. Oh, got to get our cup. Should have already had that on there. Our, our espresso machine's got a heat heater. Uh, when the boiler heats up in it, it's vented. So you're supposed to put your cup up there. It'll heat the cup up. What kind of espresso machine do we have? An expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> it That's is true. the uh, Rocket uh, uh, Mazzi Fiato. It's uh, an Italian brand. It's made in Italy. Yeah. Uh, it's a good right. one. I love it. It's... Uh, it's a fun little piece of equipment to mess with. I love coffee, so might as well get, with, get, get the best of what you love. So anyway, it's already heated up. I put a splash of uh, vanilla in there. I just go around in a circle a couple times. And that's about all I like. Some other like it sweeter, like my wife, <laughs> and she'll move about three times out of mouth. <laughs> I go around that circle about 10 times like I'm running laps. <laughs> so we'll, we'll pull this shot. If, if everything works right, you want to pull your shot. A good extraction is 28 to 32 seconds. Here we go. Look at all that crema. Mm, mm, mm. Right when it hits two, stop it. Look at that goodness. Mm, look at that crema. My, my little technique, I swirl my around my vanilla, then I dump her in. And all that crema will form back up on the top of this. And I give it a little swirl. I just let it sit there. Then I froth my milk. What side do you think it should be on? This side or that side? Okay. Uh, I froth my milk and got to purge the wand. And what you want to do here is um, you want the head of this thing to be just underneath the milk so it just makes a sputter. And then after you've done that for about eight seconds, you're adding air into the milk. Then you dunk it under just the head of it underneath the, and, and start a flow until the cup gets hot to the touch. So here we go. Now we get it rumbling. See how we got it rotating and rumbling? We'll keep it just like this until my hand says, hot. Here we go. And then we wipe her off, purge the wand. Then we're gonna attempt to do some latte art. Tap this down, swirl it around. It should start looking like liquid paint. I think it got a little too much. Swirl it around till it looks nice and goodness. Okay, then I grab my cup and I'm gonna try. So here we go. Boom. Beautiful. 
How's that? Oh, that's that's a thumbnail. Look, <laughs> looks inviting, don't it? Mm. Oh my gosh, yes. Yep, and then we set her down over here. And you got you a beautiful, inviting vanilla latte. Perfection. I get to live with this. Yeah, my own barista. Yeah, be jelly. Zucchini bread. Here we go. First time having it. Wow. Very good. Very good. So it has your approval. All right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Sleep.